This time on Turbo Build, I'm going to show you how I installed this electronic boost controller. So, allow me to introduce you to the electronic boost controller. G'day folks, my name is Brendan and welcome to Turbo Build. So today I'm going to be installing this electronic boost controller. This is a Turbo Smart Mac valve. This allows the ECU to control the amount of boost pressure that the wastegate sees on the turbo and it will influence the amount of boost that the turbo builds. So let's get to the install. First up, I need to finish with installing the fittings onto the actual valve itself. Uh, so it's got an inlet and an outlet, which are just some brass barbs, and then a little breather thing for the, uh, one of the supports that's free. Pay attention to how these need to be plumbed. Usually they come with some sort of instructions or diagram on the uh, direction of flow. In my case, and in most cases, it comes in through the front and out through the side. Uh, but look at the doco. Now, in terms of the actual install of these things, it's really very straightforward. You run one hose from your inlet manifold into the Mac valve, and then one hose from the Mac valve to the turbo's wastegate. Uh, so you can see here, I'm installing my uh, wastegate end of the line here, and I've just made a little aluminium bracket to hold the Mac valve, which I'll bolt down to the body of the car. Now, of course, the other end of this hose needs to receive the amount of boost pressure that the turbo is building. In my case, I have tapped and threaded a hole on the intake manifold and installed a barb here. There's a bit of conjecture on whether or not the boost reference should be before or after the throttle body. In my case, I've gone with after. Now, of course, the last thing I need to do is wire it in. So here, all I've done is run two wires into the cabin. One receives a 12 volt feed, the other is controlled by the Mega Squirt ECU. We've got the reference hose running from the intake manifold across the back of the motor here, across into the MAC valve, which then feeds down into the wastegate. Using the MAC valve, we're able to influence turbo to make more boost, um, to bring boost on quicker, and then to perhaps increase the boost at higher RPM. We can also do things like control the amount of boost based off the throttle position, which makes the turbo more drivable. Anyway folks, that's it for this video. As always, thanks for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe. I really appreciate it. We'll see you next time.